This mouse completely changed my video editing forever. And yes, it's a little bit stained. It's clean though. I swear it's clean. I just made the mistake of buying the gray one, which will stain permanently within like two weeks. Don't do that. The MX Master 3S is sort of a flagship mouse from Logitech, and it does a lot more than click and scroll. It also costs $100, but it's well worth it, and I'll show you why. As a YouTuber and a video editor, I spend hours every single day at my computer designing thumbnails, coming up with topics, doing research, and of course, editing videos. Using a trackpad for all of this was immediately a no-go. Like, I did not even get five minutes into it. Then, back in the day, I used this old sort of standard mouse that was a spare from my dad's office, and it worked fine, but over time, I still got some cramps in my hand. The actual mouse itself was pretty uncomfortable. I mean, I don't have unusually large hands or anything, but I needed something different. That's when I started doing way too much research and eventually found my way to Best Buy and bought the Logitech MX Master 3S. The ergonomics of this mouse are worlds better than any cheap Bluetooth mouse out there. It stands up tall enough that it fills my whole hand, which has completely solved those discomfort problems that I talked about earlier. Plus, there's a nice pad to rest your thumb on, which doubles as a button. More on that later. This is a 10 out of 10 comfort mouse. I'd give it more than that, but it's mathematically impossible. Not only is this thing way more comfortable than the average mouse, it also has way more buttons, which have massively increased my productivity. Obviously, you have your typical left and right click, but the mouse wheel also doubles as a button. Following that, there's a small programmable button right on the top of the mouse, two others that are right above the thumb, a horizontal scroll wheel, and finally, a gesture control pad that is embedded right underneath the thumb rest. By pressing down on this pad with your thumb, you activate gesture mode, which has five more programmable shortcuts that react to how you move the mouse, either up, down, left, right, or just a simple button push. Each scroll wheel is incredibly smooth and honestly quite satisfying to use, plus the vertical scroll wheel on the top has two different modes that you can activate. Either your typical haptic wheel with soft stops for precision, or an unrestrained scroll which is incredibly fast and super smooth. All of these buttons have enabled me to increase my editing speed exponentially because I linked them all to my favorite keyboard shortcuts. The only other thing that has ever improved my editing productivity by this much is my built-in library of special effects plugins, all of which I sourced from today's video sponsor, Motion Array. Motion Array is an online library of creative assets that supplies artists with thousands of templates, graphics, footage, and more. But my favorite feature is this new library of awesome video editing plugins that integrate directly to your video editing software. By just dragging and dropping, you can add effects like heat distortion, film grain, cinematic styles, light flares, and tons more. There's also powerful color grading plugins like image sharpening and hue shifts all right here built into your software. Almost all of the effects work on every single one of the big editors. So whether you work on After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or Final Cut, this tool can support your workflow. With these new plugins on top of all of their other creative assets, Motion Ray is truly a one-stop shop for anything a creator might need to create their content. The best part is you can get started right now totally for free and try it out yourself by going through the link that I put in the description below. Thank you Motion Ray for sponsoring this video. Now let me show you how I program this mouse to work with my editing software. Programming the MX Master 3S is really simple. Logitech designed a software called Logi Options Plus that connects to the mouse and enables you to adjust the button's behavior across the board or on a program by program basis. Adobe apps have a dedicated menu of functions that work directly within the app, such as Premiere Pro's editing timeline navigation or a brush size adjustment shortcut in Photoshop. But any app is compatible with the mouse because you can link the buttons to keyboard shortcuts. I used DaVinci Resolve to edit all of my videos, and I'm going to show you my chosen button shortcuts based on how I edit. First off, my wheel button is just shifting the wheel mode from haptic to smooth. Nothing fancy here. The horizontal wheel is kind of obviously linked to horizontal scrolling, which allows me to scan through my timeline really smoothly. 
it's helpful, but again, like nothing super exciting. The gesture controls, I just kind of keep simple where clicking the thumb pad starts and stops playback, sliding forward and backward increases or decreases your volume, and sliding left undoes an action while sliding right redoes an action. I paired the back thumb button to backspace so that I don't have to reach all the way across my keyboard to delete a clip. This mouse button now works just like the backspace button on my keyboard, which means it pairs with shift to do a ripple delete as well. The front thumb key I paired to command backslash, which is a clip splitting shortcut. This combined with the back thumb key makes trimming clips super fast because all I have to do is find the spot where I want to cut, hit the front button, select what I'm trimming, and then tap the back button. And all of this can be done without ever having to touch the keyboard. Finally, I programmed the small top button to act as an option Y shortcut, which selects all the clips to the right of the playhead and allows me to move them up and down the timeline without having to zoom out, marquee select the whole thing, and then zoom back in and adjust it how I want. All of these shortcuts did take a little bit of time to get used to, but once you get the muscle memory down, it's absolutely shocking how much time this will save you. And this is super important because time is more valuable than money. Speaking of money, I mentioned earlier that the MX Master 3S cost me $100, but it's currently on sale for $86, which is cool. That said, it's still not cheap for a mouse. But as a video editor, think of how much time you spend editing at your computer every single day. So much of our job relies on efficiency and spending hours and hours in front of a computer. So to me, $100 invested into a tool that's going to not only make my job more efficient, but also way more comfortable for all those hours is a no brainer. Just get the black one instead of the gray one.